employee giving campaign is, is our way as employees of KCC to show the support for our students and for the programs that we have here at KCC. So it's our effort of raising those funds that are necessary for programs, services, scholarships, whatever the emerging need is for the institution and for our students. The employee giving campaign shows all employees that KCC is a notch above everyone else. And that's what's important to me, that we are the best that we can be. If they specifically want to target that money for scholarships, they can do that. If they want to give that towards student leadership programs, they can do that. If they want to give that to just program innovation, employees have that choice. In addition to the traditional needs that we think of, students often have barriers that would also impede their ability to complete their degree. We need to fill that gap. We need to meet those auxiliary needs of students so that they can complete their education just as much as we need to provide scholarship for tuition fees and books. There are folks that are battling through some stuff that you and I can't even comprehend. They don't have a resolution to their life situation. They think that their academic experience may in fact be the, a solution. These different areas that we can give to employee giving, that's, that's turning it around, that's pushing it back out to those folks that you know, sometimes we just need that one little break. And who knows the payoff that's going to happen. I was an adult student when I started at KCC. I was in an unhappy marriage, and I kind of lost my self-confidence and my self-worth. I decided to take one class at a time, because that's all I was allowed to take at the time. And while I was here, I just realized that this was the best part of my week. And I started to get more confident. I, I found out that I was a lot smarter than I thought I was, and I wanted to go full time. And then I ended up getting divorced, and then it was about financial need. So then I applied for the scholarships, and I got the Century Club scholarship, and I was one of the two award winners. When I gave my acceptance speech, I had to tell all about my experience. And afterwards, a very kindly man came up to me with these kind eyes and a big smile, and he shook my hand. He said, I really enjoyed your story. And he said, I think you deserve the same amount of money that the other scholarship winner got. And when he walked away, I opened my hand up. I thought there was a, a business card or something in there, and there was three $100 bills. And I was just amazed that somebody that was a stranger was so concerned with my success. When it came down to find a job, I kept thinking of KCC, and I kept thinking about my experience here and that I wanted to be part of that. So this is my third position here at KCC, and I can say I've enjoyed all three of them. My life has kind of come full circle from being a student to being an employee and then wanting to give back to the community that invested into me. I often thought about I'd like to do the um, Denise Burklow $300 instant scholarship that you just give out to every student that walks through. Um, it's a dream. I would like to have my name on a scholarship one day, but until that, that day comes, it'd be nice to just give a little bit at a time. We achieved our educations, and look what we did with those. Now we are working here. We are making it happen for other students so we can give back and help them get through just like others helped us. If we produce successful students, that means they're a successful part of the community. It's just a win-win situation for everybody. You're in, we're investing in ourselves by investing in our students. My area that I put my money toward was for facility improvements. People who haven't been here maybe attended, you know, 10 or, or 15 years ago and they come back to campus and they can't believe how much it's grown with some new additions that we have, the Arts and Science Building, the Workforce Development Center. The facility has grown. That's something that didn't happen overnight and maintaining our outdoor grounds goes on on a daily basis. I give because I'm a community college graduate myself. I know that as a student I would have loved to have had that kind of support. I didn't have that support, but I know that it goes a long way for those who really do need to have that support. Me personally, I, I give my money to the Compassion Fund because I think that there are a lot of opportunities that we have to give to some folks that are our students. They don't necessarily need the textbook. They don't necessarily need the tuition assistance. They need a bus pass. Payroll deduction is available. You can write a check. Whatever works for you, and if we haven't identified it yet and there's an easier way that you want to make your payment, come to us and tell us what it is and we'll make it happen. We're really looking for 100% participation. We'd love to have everybody give something, whatever they can. And it really goes a long way to go out into the community when we ask other donors, uh, donors who do have the resources and, and the larger gifts that are available for the college, to be able to tell them to say, you know, we have 100% participation from our employees. We care so much about this, we want you to also care about that. Even if you give five bucks a paycheck, I mean, 26 times, 
you're, you're giving over a hundred bucks. You're not gonna miss that. So even just a small amount, and then there's so many of us adding that all together, that's, that's significant. That can help so many people. KCC is like a family, and you want to make sure that your family is well provided for. And I think by giving with the employee gift, um, you're providing for your family. You're making sure that your family is successful.